guys. Thanks for watching. It's Shannon. Um, if you haven't um, tuned in before, uh, I live in a 1970 Airstream Overlander land yacht. Um, and I've been in for about a year and a half, I guess. Uh, it's been good full timing. So um, I travel for work so that I can, uh, when I'm not working, I can play quite a bit. Um, and I'm winding down winters getting here. So we're getting to that point where I can take some time off. Um, but there's some little tricks that I've learned um, wintering because I wintered in Colorado and you may have seen some of my videos where I put my skirt on and stuff and I'm hoping to not have to do that here. I'm hoping I'm not going to be, um, I am currently in outside of Minneapolis, Minnesota and um, I love it. It's beautiful. I've never been up here before. So quite nice, but um, I wanted to show you something I've been doing. So typically what I've done um, and it works pretty well. Well, I mean, air, older Airstreams don't have the double pane glass, which I've seen some of the horror stories from that with the older ones and people having to take them out and stuff like that. And I was a little leery of whether or not putting the plastic, you know, where you do the lining along here and then you put the shrink wrap on the plastic or on the deal and shrink it up and stuff like that. Well, I did it last year and it actually worked pretty good. Now, it's not going to seal it up completely because, of course, these windows aren't sealed up, but it does kind of cut down on radiating um, the air through and you're not opening your windows a whole lot anyway so in the winter so it's not like you're cutting down on circulation it's not going to cut off so much of the um, venting and stuff that you've got to worry about propane and stuff because it's let's face it it's still not a tight seal and I'm not putting it directly onto the um, onto the walls around the windows because I don't want it to pull the paint off I don't know what that how good that tape is but I wanted to show you a little something I had to do. So I have uh, a dog and a cat. I've got Mabel and Hazel. And they uh, are particularly fond of sleeping in the window. There's Mabel there. There's my girl. Um, and particularly fond of sleeping in the window. So they completely busted out the screen because they get up there and they play and stuff like that. And they're both uh, about a year old. So, in lieu of continually trying to fight with that and tell them no and all that, I've given up. That's their window. I've accom I'm accommodating them so that they can enjoy that window. They spend a lot of time inside when I have to go to work, so they might as well get to enjoy it. So, that being said, the screen has come out, the, which means I never open that window because then they'll jump out. Um, then the other thing is, um, I can't put that plastic up to, uh, insulate. And this thing, I mean, even with the windows and I'm going to put some, um, uh, blocking, what is it? The, uh, day night, uh, curtains up for winter, possibly. I really hate making it that dark in here. Um, so just putting the plastic up and then having the curtains over it definitely cut down and I did just fine with winter last year in Colorado and we got down to zero at night and it you know it was chilly but it wasn't awful anyway so I came up with another solution and I went to Lowe's and I measured my window and I got a piece of plexiglass so you can see you see that I got a piece of plexiglass and I took that same I went ahead because I cut it I had them cut it too wide um I went ahead and just took the arm brackets out that are normally in here um, since I had access to them so I just took them out and we'll put those in a drawer and I'll put those back in when the <laughs> he's my girl when the weather is warms up and then I just took that same tape that you put the um, plastic wrap up and just did the top and sides and then I put this eighth inch thick plexiglass so they can bang against it they can do whatever they're going to do, and it seals up this window and adds me an extra layer of insulation. Cost thirty-five dollars. So we'll see how long this lasts, but at least it's giving me an extra layer of um, air between the window and this and the wall, and then of course the curtains over it, which of course I've got to repair those because they've torn those up too. The cat likes to use the curtains as a hammock. That's fun. So I've had to take the curtains out. Um, but I'll go ahead and put the plastic in the wing windows again and which is nice because it doesn't block the view and So I just wanted to show you that and then because I've got it cut so that it overlaps just past 
the these here it's covering this gap as well so just a little heads up on a little thing you can do for the front windows um, I can already tell quite a bit of a difference um, and it closes out gives you a little air gap between the windows so hopefully that'll help give you a nice little idea of something you can do to help insulate um, some of your windows in your airstream so thank you very much if you have any questions um, be sure to reach out uh, otherwise like subscribe and share and I'll be hitting the road soon I've got a couple other little tips that I'm gonna uh, share with you about my tankless water heaters that I learned um, I got a fun story on that and uh, then we'll start hitting the road and, and uh, adventuring and then I'll be sharing those with you as well so thank you very much